Hi everyone, and today's topic is going to be my three Chloe Marcy handbag comparison review. First of all, I'm going to talk about my large um, tote, large Marcy tote in the color truffle. I don't know if you're able to see the color in detail because the lighting in my room is pretty bad, but it's just this very rich reddish brown. And the texture is so nice, it feels so buttery. The hardware is just this tarnished gold. One thing I really love about this um, bag, and which is so different from other colors of the Mercy, is that you no, know, the stitching here is actually a different color with the leather of this bag. The bag is like a deep brown, but the stitching it's actually red, so it creates this big contrast to avoid um, being so boring because if the bag is brown and the stitching and all lining and everything is brown, it's going to be like, not much fun to look at it. So that's what I really lo uh, love about this bag. So this bag is pretty big because I'm pretty tall. I'm about 5'8", which is 173 um, centimeters. This bag looks still pretty big on me, I would say. It's about the size of a Speedy 40, but only a little taller. Speedy 40 is probably this big. So if you are um, petite or you're not that tall, I would suggest you not get this bag because it will look like crazy huge on you. And this is what, how it looks like on my shoulder. I would say this is like about the biggest size of bag that I can handle. Anything bigger than this, I would feel like unacceptable. And also you can carry this bag on the crook of your arm. I mean, it looks pretty huge like this, but because this bag is um, empty right now. So if you um, put things in here, and over time of use, this bag will sag a bit like this. So it won't look as big as right now. It will probably be like something like this. So it will look pretty casual and natural. It's a pretty flat pocket. You can put a lot of things in here. Probably a cell phone, some tissue paper, or you know, like a small notebook. And that's it. But the main pocket is huge. It's like a huge black hole. And inside material is just like this, um, I don't know, fabric with two pockets. One zipper pocket. Oh, I've got my like authentication card and stuff like that in here. I'm thrown out. And also this little pocket that's supposed to put your um, cell phone in it. The detail is really nice. It's a little stiff, but when you use it for a period of time, it's going to get softer. You can actually open and close the zipper like this. But I usually just leave the zipper on like halfway. Otherwise, when I'm carrying it on my shoulder, it's going to be a huge hassle to have it open and close. So usually I just have it um, half open like this. So as to make it easier to get in and get out. So that's my um, Marcy Hobo, no, Marcy Toad. Um, in a size large, in a color truffle. Second, I'm going to review my Marcy Hobo um, in medium size in the color Nut. I believe Nut is a more popular color and um, that's the reason why I bought this bag. I didn't actually look at this bag and see this bag in person before I bought it. I just got it from a Japanese website because it was like 60% off. Um, before I got the bag, I was pretty nervous. I looked for a lot of pictures on Google to try to get the real feel, like how this color really looks like in real life. And I'm glad I got this bag because I love the color. It's so nice. Half olive, half brown. It actually changes color as the light changes, as lighting changes. Like if you carry it outside on the street, it's going to be a lighter brown. But if you're inside, it's going to be like a darker brown. But no matter what color it changes into, it's always beautiful. It's so versatile. 
um, because you can use it um, to go with your casual look when you're you know wearing the t-shirt and the jeans and also when you go to work you can also carry it um, to go with your more formal outfit you know like a suit or um, like a pair of pants that is more formal so it pretty much goes with everything it goes with skirts and shorts and you know leather jacket and everything it just is such a great addition to any outfit so I highly highly recommend this color and um, shape of the bag so once again it has a front pocket it's even smaller the flat pocket and the inside is just same thing a big hole I mean, I haven't taken this out. Just a whole bunch of tissue paper in there, but it's exactly the same structure and organization as the um, um, bigger size bag. So that's it. I'm gonna do a size comparison. So that's side. Right. This is the medium hole, and I'm 5'8". This is the large tote. See, they're both beautiful, right? And on my arm, last but not least, my Marcy um, crossbody bag in the size small. And this color is 10. I think a lot of celebrities have this color, like um, Jessica Alba. I got it for almost only um, like less than 350. US dollars, so it's a pretty good deal. This bag, you can only carry like this. I mean, that's the way I usually carry it. But if you like, you can do it, just carry on this um, side of your shoulder. But I personally think it's a little, it looks a little silly and um, less in fashion, I would say. So I usually carry it crossbody. In this bag, it's really cute. The color is so rich. I know you can't see it. The lighting is really bad. And the rounded shape, it's just so cute. I love it. Inside, I mean, it might look like a smaller bag, but not. Inside is pretty roomy. I try to put my iPhone 5 in a decent sized wallet, like a, zippy, like a Louis Vuitton zippy wallet in it. And plus my makeup bag, gums and rubber bands and you know like batteries and they all perfectly fit into this bag and it doesn't you know like lose its shape or anything so it's a pretty practical bag and really casual if you want to go to you know go shopping and be light-handed or go to the amusement park and ride on roller coasters while you don't want to put your bag aside on a locker or something you can always choose this one so finally, I'll do a size comparison of all three of these bags. I don't know if it's possible, but I'll try. So that's these two. And the little one right here. Oops. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my very first video, and if you guys um, like to see other videos because I have a lot of handbags that I would like to share with you in the future. Um, put on comments in below box and I will try to answer or do the videos um, as you request it as often as possible. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. See you guys later. Bye.